Okay, hello dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. It was cold. Why do I say beautiful morning? It was cold and windy and I drove two hours to come to this place to see an exhibition. And uh, remember before, I will tell you the story in detail. I'm kind of disappointed, but uh, when you hear the story, maybe you can share some of my thoughts. So this is St. Mary's College, St. Mary's College in California and uh, they have a museum here it's called Art Center Cornelio Museum anyway um, and they have uh, William Keyes art collection one of the biggest permanent connect collection of William Keyes artwork I remember there was time that I I, I, I have seen William Key's artwork uh, in Stanford University in Oakland uh, uh, Museum, in San Francisco De Young Art Museum, and also when I went to Utah, I saw in Utah Fine Art Museum and Austin Fine Art Museum. So I searched, I was saying that I want to look for, maybe I should go to a place to look for all his connection to do an artist searching according to an artist because I, I am totally in love of his art style. So I searched online and there is one museum, this St. Mary Museum had a big collection, about 200 pieces and they have a dedicated room here. So I came here. So here I am inside William Key's gallery. And uh, I think I will go to another piece of work, another museum that talking about his story in front of uh, the, in front of his painting so that you can understand a little bit of uh, his art style and uh, the museum here they are moving it away the permanent connection collection it must be in some places they collected but it is said that they had uh, they have uh, a, a room that dedicate to his collection this should be the room that put in his artwork but today they are making some feminizing performance per permanence feminizing permanence so this um, this uh, gallery is only a female artist and sponsored by uh, care campus assault response and education and sponsored by different uh, organizations. Um, I drove all the way coming to see Key's exhibition, William Key's exhibition, but I didn't find not even one piece of it. It's kind of uh, disappointing, don't you think so? So I looked closer and fortunately there are some artworks that is quite interesting. For example, this piece of artwork is by Elizabeth Emerson Keys. And uh, Elizabeth Emerson Keys, this artist is a female artist. That's why her work was shown here. He, she was born in, um, in 1838 in Maine in America and later on she married to William Keyes, moved to San Francisco, married to William Keyes and that's one of the reasons her artwork is here. She taught 
William Keyes to do watercolor painting. And uh, her style is, uh, I think it's very much detailed and uh, very um, soft, tender. And um, this is one of the reason her artwork is here because maybe because she's the wife of William Keyes. And uh, this one is uh, another female artist and she, she was uh, the student of William Keyes. She learned the art style from William Keyes, wonderful, marvelous pieces of artworks. So these three artists for some reason are related to, to William Keyes. That's a wonderful piece. it is very hard to talk about uh, the artist without showing his artwork. It's kind of uh, disappointing, but uh, nevertheless, there are good artworks. So these are some other art on show in this gallery. And uh, on this side, here is um, a little bit more modern artworks. I don't know whether this one is, uh, is a female or not. Women make art history. So this is also the art about uh, woman, about uh, woman artist or art reflection. Vote, good, woman rights in sports, equal, equal pay, human kindness, young artists that are not appreciated. Art in public school. I appreciate this exhibition celebrating feminine in artists' work, climate change, and that is a guy crying. Is he crying? LGBTQ plus art artist create and and plant the seed that blossom more than that we need more of it in more public places human rights for all art be depicting human kindness So this um, save our beautiful planet, find quiet and the power of stillness. Anyway, these are the student uh, uh, reflections and these are some uh, must be female gorilla girls. <laughs> these must be some female artists. maybe not female artists but uh, yeah this is a man's name but depicting um, something more feminine or 
or feminine, uh, feminine centered. Uh, I this does not represent any of my opinion or anything. I am just showing you what is the artwork on show here. I am disappointed because I didn't see William Key's artwork. I think I will keep on searching his artwork. So they have uh, another new exhibition is the political posters and uh, and uh, I, I am not a very political person, and uh, I feel, <laughs> I know, uh, artwork is about politics, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, everyone has his opinion, and uh, when we put. Uh, art connected with politics it's kind of uh, a bit that I am kind of coward to um, to connect my YouTube channel with politics and with uh, with anything that is uh, that is uh, politically sensitive Anyway, this is what is happening in this world. Oh, um, LBJ. <laughs> I just came back from Texas, so I knew the Johnson, President Johnson, and all these political posters. So that concludes my visit to this museum. And I am grateful that uh, that uh, that I can see something new and different that is unexpected. Such is life. What you expect is not what you are going to get. You deal with life. You deal with unexpected surroundings, happenings, and uh, make the best of it. Reflect. There are many things in this world. There are exciting things there are um, debatable things there are noises there are excitements there are all kinds of feelings and all kinds of uh, things surround us. The important thing is they are not me. They are away from my world. You can live your life away from noises away from things you do not want, even when you are surrounded by things unexpected. You can still use your brain to process and decide what kind of life you want to live. Does this make any sense?
Hello dear friends, it's cold so I wear my <laughs> my fluffy clothes and here I am in this fantastic museum. This is Mill College Museum and uh, they have uh, an art show of pottery artists. So let's take a look from the museum to the artwork. So this is Mills College. It must be something. Uh, it, it must be something religious school or something. There was a, a movie on show. Excuse me for. So this is a museum. Here are the artworks. These are the artworks of the pottery artist. I kind of uh, do not understand it. It looks pretty out of my imagination, unexpected. Let's uh, take some time and, uh, and be a little bit away from the television so that uh, I hope you can hear me. It was, uh, the video was a monologue of an artist which I do not understand very much and uh, Daniel Road this is the artist Daniel Road and some of the pottery art Here and this pottery. I don't know. This looks like a golf club, doesn't it? Or like uh, something. I do not know what it is. You know, the thing of. Uh, of modern art is that you go to places and you feel ashamed of yourself because you understand nothing. I feel so ashamed of myself because I understand nothing of it. And this might be the fun of modern art. You can think as a people, you can think as a dancing, you can think as a presel, you can think it as a, as a rope, you can think it as a, as a piece of card paper, you can think as, a, as two people fighting, you can think as a snakes, tangling together. You can think as uh, the outer base, outer space, nebula. You can think of your wildest dream. You can think of anything, but you cannot think of, uh, or you cannot guess out what the artist originally, originally intended. That's about modern art, right? You come to a place to see the things that you don't understand a thing. And uh, you... Oh my, this looks so... Oh, 
I better not to look at it. And uh, and I think this is the purpose of uh, modern art to make you humble. Going to a modern art museum is uh, is a very humbling experience. So the other day we were discussing humble and humbling. This person is very humble and uh, going to an expensive restaurant is a humbling experience. Why it is humbling? Because it makes you humble. <laughs> this is the same as going to a modern art museum. It makes you humble, right? Because you don't understand anything. It's like uh, a bad student go to a classroom unprepared and you know nothing about it and you feel so bad. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of a pity that uh, the art or art museum is becoming kind of monotone and uh, dictated, not dictated and uh, occupied by a lot of modern art. If we are fair, we at least should have some art piece that is less political, that is less uh, um, that is less Im not imaginative, guessable, uh, uh, um, unexpected, everything you have to guess, everything you have to try to understand. And uh, museum experience should make you happy, should make you enlightened, should make you feel nourished, enriched and uh, ignited and uh, inspired. But the truth, or at least these two ex museum experience, make me feel so D-U-M-B, no, D-U-M-B, make me feel so belittled. Is that the word? Make you feel, make me feel that I'm so out of this world. What is going on with this world? What is going on with this world? Am I wrong? I think I'm a good person. I'm an ordinary person. But why? Am I so wrong that I could not understand any single thing in modern art, in modern museum? I spend money to visit museum, to buy the museum pass, to buy the museum membership. At the end of the day, The museum made me feel intimidated, belittled, and make me feel I was nothing. I am worthy of nothing. Makes me feel I have no knowledge, no sense, no judgment. No, we should not have judgment. But just make me feel so make me so confused. How beautiful is this place? Such a beautiful place. Such a classic place. with this extraordinary artwork.
Is this the intention of the organizer to make a comedy? Whole day there was no sunshine, and now sunshine came. Duplicating the new trees. There is some sunshine, not that much. This is a beautiful museum.